Yeah, um, there's few students actually ask me about this uh, circular measure questions and I find this question actually is quite hard and then I try to Google it online. I find out this is one of the A-level questions but since it's actually under circular measure topic so I decided to discuss these questions together with you so I hope can ha help you understand better about these kind of questions. So let's have a look on these questions. Okay, the question says something like this. They say, okay, circle is inscribed in a square with a side length of 10 cm where the sector ACD. So basically, you should know the ACD over here is a sector. Uh, yeah, it's a sector. So the sector ACD is a quadrant of a circle. So that means here should have a big circle. Quadrant basically means cut the circle into the four different parts. So you should know the angle over here should be 90 degrees. This is like quadrant so that's been divide circle into the four part all right so find the area of the shaded region so this question actually they asked us to find the green color shaded region here so when i first do these questions yeah i try to i break this one into the half here i try to find the area outside of the circle that's mean i use a square to basically minor the circle and then I will get four different parts I divide four I find this part and then I realize I stuck somewhere because there's no way for me to find these two small part over here yeah I can just use some red color to show you so it's very hard for me to find all this part over here so therefore yeah I stop for a while and I try to think like what is my other solution so if I want to find the area over here so what we can do is like this. Um, so basically what I will do is um, I try to find what is the angle here because okay, okay, this is the sector. So we have another sector over here and then let's say I call this one as my uh, center point here. I call this one as my center point here. And then from the center point here, I connect to my circumference, the circle here. So I should have another sector. So do you see this sector over here? you can't maybe i can draw out to show you so basically we have another sector look like this okay with exactly this sector over here what i'm talking to so my law lo my logic right now if i can if i can get the angle over here then i just try a way to minus uh, the small part over here then maybe i can get the shadow region so what i will do over here is i basically i need to draw like two triangle um, to find out this angle but before that uh, we know this is a square and then they tell us the length is 10 centimeters so let me just write it down first this is 10 10 10 and 10 all right so if i want to bring it into a two different triangle this is what happened i will just cut like this and then i cut like this so you realize i have one triangle over here is an irregular triangle because three sides are not the same all right, but then I have another we call congruent triangle. I mean, this triangle is exactly the same with the triangle I draw just now. So we have two triangles over here. So what I'm doing here is, if I can use the solution of triangle matters, so basically I find the length, and then I, I might be able to find this angle, and this angle and this angle is the same, isn't it? I call it called alpha. So if I use a 360, uh, in this case I will use 2 pi because this is circular measure, we use radian. So if I use a 2 pi minus this 2 alpha over here, I can get this angle. Alright, so after I get this angle, then I can get the whole sector area here. Then the next thing is I, I need to minus uh, this part over here. Maybe I use the blue color to represent. Yeah, I need to minus this part in order to get the shaded region at the beginning. So what I will do is you realize this is another sector. Do you see this another sector? The Okay, I'm going to call it some name maybe. I give a name for it P and Q, all right? Easier for me to label it. So you realize um, DPQ is another sector. So if this sector DPQ over here, what I will do is if I minus these two triangle over here, I basically get the blue color shaded region here. So I will use this sector and then I will minus the blue color shaded region here. Then at the end, I will get the green color shaded region, which is the shaded region at the very beginning here. Right, right now you roughly know what I want to do. So yeah, so I'm going to show you the working definitely. Um, let me just erase this thing if you understand. 
Alright, so what I will do is, yeah, the first thing is I need to sort out this triangle. So this is 10 over here and this one is a sector, right? So definitely I know this length, uh, this length over there will be 10. So this is 10. Alright, and then because this is the center, so from the center, if to the... This is circle, right? This is, now I say, uh, talking about the yellow color circle here. Okay, if this circles, the whole thing over here will be 10. This is radius, isn't it? Radius will be 5, right? So if the radius is 5, this this one is the radius as well, right? So this length will be 5 here. Right, then the last one, maybe this one is a little bit difficult. So you want to find this length. So you should know you can easily get the diameter, isn't it? So you should be able to see the B to D is a diameter of this circle. So if this one is a diameter of the circle, we can do the Pythagoras, right? So because this is 10, this is 10. If I do the Pythagoras over here, this 100 plus 100, this is like square root 200. And then we can round off become uh, become 2 square root 10, isn't it? If not mistaken, square root 200. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's 10 square root 2. All right, so therefore, we know the whole thing here is 10 square root 2. If I divide into the half here, it will be 10 square root 2 divide 2, right? So it will be 5 square root 2. All right, right now, I have a triangle look like this. I, I sketch this out to give you some idea. We have 5 sub 2, and then we have 5, and then we have 10. All right, so not right now, my objective is to find the alpha here. So if I want to find this alpha over here, I have three length with no angle. You should know this this one, we actually, we have to use the cosine rule, isn't it? So I will do the cosine rule. So cosine rule formula is like this, cos theta equals to b squared plus c squared minus a squared. I assume my theta over here is a, all right? Over 2bc. All right, maybe I just don't write theta because some student might find confused. Uh, I write cos a. All right, means this is the angle A, and then length opposite it will be small letter A, and B and C is the other two sides over here. So over here, you can see how I substitute is like this. So B is 5 square, and then C is uh, 5 square root 2 square, minus my A will be minus 10 square, over 2BC, 5 square root 2. All right, then I will basically move my cost to the other side and and get my angle here. So because I don't have enough space, so later I will calculate this one and write down the angle and then I will erase the whole thing here. So I will just use the calculator uh, to calculate this one real quick. So, yep, calculator will tell me top I will get negative 25 and bottom is 10. 10 by 50 is 50 square root 2. 50 square root 2 and we still have cost here because I haven't moved my cost to the other side so I will say divided by 50 sub 2 and then I got my answer I will shift cost my answer and then I will have 1.932 radian which is my angle A and in this case the A is basically is the alpha All right, I write A is just because the formula I should write alpha here Right, right now we got the alpha, so I will just uh, I will just erase here to write down my alpha over here. Um, yes, so my alpha over here is one point nine three two. Then we can find our theta, right? Because the whole thing is three hundred sixty. Three hundred sixty basically is two pi, isn't it? So I will just say I will use two pi to minus. I have double of the alpha, isn't it? Two alpha. All right, then. I should be able to get a decimal number to multiply 1.932. So we have the angle is 2.419 radian. All right, right now we have the theta ready. All right, so then the next thing we need to find is we need to find the sector, area of this sector, and then we need to find area of this sector. So, but I prefer to find the blue color region first because we already have the triangle and all this. So, Yep, so let me just erase this thing over here. All right, so right now, I will just want to find this area of sector here. So this area of sector, I should use the uh, sector formula, which is a half r squared theta, and then minus both of the triangles. So I will just say something like, um, something like shaded region of the blue color. All right, so I, I want to find the shaded region of the blue color here. So basically, you know it's this part. So basically, I will use the big sector, 
which is this sector over here, which is half r square theta. Oh my god, we don't have the theta here. <laughs> okay, so yes, so we kind of need to find this theta, maybe I call it theta 2. So kind of need to find this angle, so I will just find it real quick uh, using the sine rule. So sine theta, uh, alpha 2 over 5 equals to sine alpha, which is we have the alpha 1.932 over 10. So I can get my alpha 2 real quick over here, but make sure your calculator is in radian. If in degree, you might get the different result with mine. So sine 1.932 uh, and then over 10 multiply 5. And then I will just tap the shift sign my result, my answer here, I will get 0 0.4867. Okay, I rub off. So my second angle here is 0 0.4867. And you realize you have double of it, isn't it? The whole sector over here is double of this alpha 2. So basically, I will time 2 using my calculator. Then I get my angle over here is 0 0.973. All right, this is half r square theta to find the whole sector. All right, then I need to minus both of the triangle. So you minus the double of the triangle. So we have the triangle formula if half uh, a B sine C or some half B C sine A depend which formula you choose. So basically, it's sine both of the length multiply the uh, angle between. So I will choose these two. So it's five square root two multiply ten, and then multiply the I uh, might multiply the sine. Uh, this alpha two is basically zero point four eight seven. All right, so. Then I will just type the calculator in it. I should be able to get a nice uh, number here. So it's 1 over 2 multiply 10 squared is 100 multiply 0 0.73. So um, this one actually will give you 48.65 minus half. This one I simplified. I got 50 square root 2, isn't it? So I have 50 square root 2 and then I multiply with sine 0 0.487. Alright, so this one will give me 30.091. Alright, then I will minus it. I will use 48.65 minus my answer. So I get the blue color one is 15.56. Or you can say 559. So I will just mark it down. This one is 15.56. Okay, cm square since it's 10 centimeters. So after I got the blue one, I almost got the answer. So I want to find this uh, sector like this and then I will minus the blue color so basically what I will do over here I will straight away find the shaded region of this question so what I will do is the area of the shaded region so basically I mean the green color area okay so what I will do is I will find this big sector I will use back the same formula half but this time my r is 5 isn't it you should be able to see 5 square theta we just find which is the 2.419 and then minus the blue color region uh, which is 15.56 yep and then we will get our nice answer here i hope so 1 over 2 times 25 times 2.419 minus my answer just now yeah we'll just get uh, some nice answer here is something like 14.7 uh, cm square. It, all right. Uh, I just realized the book answer should be fourteen point six, if not mistaken. Maybe I just take too many decimal, but it's fine. It's actually like very very close. So, anyways, this is how to solve this kind of uh complicated solution uh uh circular measure questions. So I hope this video actually can give you some insights like how to solve this kind of questions because yeah because. At the beginning, I trying to find a small part uh, over here, which I think is quite impossible to find. Maybe some students know how to find a small area here. You can just post a comment below to let me know. Or else, yeah, next time you see this kind of question like this, the easiest way you can think of is trying to break it down into a triangle because you know the solution triangle formula. You might be able, it might be able to help you to find the angle and the length and, and so on. All right, anyways. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.